guess where I am? I'm in Rambot HQ at St. Joseph's Catholic High School. I'm standing with Kevin Webb. I'm standing with Simran Alec, and I also have Kathy Sipo. She is the teacher advisor. And we're, today we're going to be talking about a robot. It doesn't have a name yet. We're going to work on that a uh, little bit in the future. Uh, but the, the kids here at the school uh, have an after, uh, after school club, and they have actually built a robot that they're going to compete with. We're going to find out about that, how they built it, and how they came up with this idea. Uh, first off, Kevin Webb to my left. Kevin, welcome to the show. Hey. And Kevin, what grade are you in? I'm in grade 12. Grade 12. Is this something that you've, uh, have you done anything like this before? Uh, no, this is mostly all new to me. Haven't really done anything like this before, so. And any aspirations to, to move on and become a, a robotic engineer? Uh, yeah, I'm looking into engineering for sure as a university choice. Good stuff. All right, so that's probably next year then? Yes. Well, actually, I'm staying for a fifth year, so, yeah. Good for you. Nothing wrong with that. I totally agree with the fifth year. That's well needed. Now, Kathy, have, have you, uh, how long has this club been uh, in existence? Um, well, this is our first year for this particular robot. Uh, last year, we competed at the Science Olympics at Western with uh, Lego Mindstorm robots, and the students were really interested in that and really enjoyed that competition, so we thought, what can we do to take that a little bit further at St. Joe's this year? Uh, we did some research and found out about FIRST Robotics, and here we are. We, are. we have a robot on the table. How much more time do you have to actually uh, work on this before the competition? We have until February 19th. Uh, each team is given six weeks exactly in order to build, design, and drive their robot. Are there other schools in St. Thomas within Thames Valley even that uh, are doing this type of program? Uh, I think there's a couple of schools in London, but no, no schools in St. Thomas are participating. So there's a good reason to come to St. Joe's right there, right? You've heard the St. Joe's ads on the That's on the radio. Great. Now, Simran, what part do you play? Uh, first of all, what grade are you in, and what was your role on the design team? Um, I'm in grade 12. My role on the design team is pretty much to come with a model that will work and launch and shoot frisbees. Launch and shoot frisbees. Now that's an interesting. How do you how? Okay. You got to explain because you're the robotics genius here. How are you going to get that robot, which we're getting shots of right now? How's that going to actually pick up and throw a frisbee? Um, we're looking with motors and gears. I don't. Know. Well, we have our, our conveyor belt system. The kids have been working with Mr. Dinner and a few um, engineers from the community on a design with um, some different conveyors. And there's actually some awesome drawings on the board if you want to take a look at our, you know, technical drawings. Um, but they're going to pick up frisbees, launch them at targets, uh, specific targets, and uh, hang off of a pyramid. <laughs> yeah. Who knows where yeah. you come up with this kind it's of stuff? Unbelievable. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. Mr. Dinner has been working tirelessly uh, with the design students, as well as uh, a few engineers we've had from the community, as well as um, some folks from Fanshawe College who have been instrumental in helping us out with this project. Well, that's nice to be right next door neighbors with Fanshawe uh, yeah. College. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, you talked about the community partners. What, what, uh, what type of community partners do you have, and, and are you still looking for anything more from our community? We absolutely are looking for help from the community. We're looking for money, uh, mentors, and materials. Um, money, because it's an extraordinarily expensive enterprise to do this, uh, minimum $6,500 uh, investment in this, and that's a minimum. Um, we're looking at mentors, both engineers and programmers who have expertise in this area, and materials. We have the base of our robot, but we need to build you know, the add-ons that are going to complete the task, and that takes a lot of material to, build, to use to build that. So how many kids are uh, in this club? How many students uh, make up the club, and what are some of the different positions that they hold, Kevin? Um, there's about 25 students who are uh, making up the club. There's a uh, build team, design team, program team, website team, media team, like sponsorship team. We have tons of teams inside of the team. Well, it makes it easier, I guess, to, to get the project done that way, right, Kathy? I agree. Well, the, the kids have so many different skills. You know, we've had kids who want to be part of the project, but they don't know anything about engineering. Um, so they bring their skills in designing a website for us. Rambot.ca uh, is our website. Uh, absolutely check that out. Um, and there's kids who are designing t-shirts and promotional materials, not just the actual building of the robot. So we've got a lot of kids involved. Actually, our, our latest numbers are over 35 kids participating in this so kids of all abilities and talents yeah now Simran did you ever think that you'd get involved in, in building a robot before definitely not I'm not into engineering or any of that stuff so doing this is definitely new to me but I'm willing to explore maybe see what different opportunities I have and I noticed uh, when we came in there's a, a young man working on the on the laptop he's the programmer yes. I, I've never seen anything programmed like that before. Where, where do we learn to do that kind of stuff? Well, uh, Daniel Kroskoff is our head programmer, um, and he's been teaching himself a lot. 
of this, which is amazing. He's working hard. He's here every day, every day working on the programming. Um, we've had a couple of gentlemen come in who are computer programmers who have been assisting him a little bit, but a lot of it's on Daniel. He's been doing an amazing job. So if people are out there right now and they're, and they're watching the program and they want to sponsors want to help you out will there be recognition on the robot anywhere absolutely we have different levels of sponsorship depending on what the donations are for the team um, it ranges from a thank you <laughs> to um, their name or logo on our t-shirts uh, all the way up to if you want to give five thousand dollars or more you can name it <laughs> it was we call it rambot right now but uh Anything we're open. open we're open to suggestion absolutely now, Kevin, now you went to Toronto to actually build this robot, so maybe we can step up to the robot a little bit, and maybe you can point out some of the different features of it, and tell us how this thing runs. All right, well, you start out, everything starts out with the battery. It goes through here, where you get your right amount of current. It goes from here into your motor controller. These, like, help you control, so you can run a motor at 50%. Then from here, it goes into the Serio, which is basically the brains and has all the programming and all that of the robot, into the D-Link router, which sends the signal out to the laptop, and the laptop you control it with the joystick. Now do all the teams have the exact same uh, materials here to build a robot, or do they get a different kit depending on where they're from? Um, everybody gets a kit. Since we're a rookie team, we got to go build it the first day in Toronto and get lots of help. Um, but everybody gets the same kit, except we got a few extra parts also because we're a rookie team. So That's like building something from Ikea. There's always a couple of leftover parts there. You're not sure why. Now you know why. If you're building something and, you, and you're missing something, then you can just use it. Now this is quite, uh, it's a flat robot. How is this actually, Simran, how is this going to climb a pyramid? Um, what we're hoping to do is build two arms on the sides that will hook on to the bars, which is the pyramid has three bars you're supposed to climb, but as a rookie team, we know that we're not going to be able to climb all the way. So we're hoping the first bar, which will get us 10 points, and the two arms will grab onto the first bar and kind of do like a chin up and pull itself up and hang there. All we need is like a, an inch and we'll get 10 points. So hopefully we can do that. Now maybe, uh, Kathy, you can explain what the competition is, how it works. I know what we know what you have to do now, right. but explain how the teams come together throughout the, the, tr the time there. Okay, um, when we get to the competition in Waterloo, um, they will randomly assign us in an alliance. So you will be working with two other teams, so you're in an alliance of three against an alliance of three. So you have a few minutes to talk with your alliance to see you know, what your strengths are, so if you're a good climber, this robot can climb. If you're a good shooter, that one will shoot. So everyone will have their own task. So you have a two minute and 15 second round to score as many points as you can. Um, and there's a number of rounds th uh, throughout the day and you are randomly assigned every time with a different alliance until you get to the finals. Uh, in the finals, they will rank all the teams as to how they did during the day and the top teams will start going down and picking who they want to be on their team. So you have to market yourself. But that's interesting. So if you get the first place team, mm -hmm. is likely going to pick the second place that's team. Exactly right. And then as you get further to the bottom, to the, the rookie teams like St. Joe's will be, um, you're going to be working with some of the top guys and they're going to be working with some of the, the new people. That's got to be a, an interesting dynamic. Absolutely. That's why we are really um, focusing on being good at what we do. Um, the best thing for rookies is to pick one or two things and to do them well and consistently so that when it comes time to be chosen, we're ready. This is quite a, an interesting undertaking here. So how fast can this robot go? I know we were watching, uh, we were watching Daniel do some work with it before we actually, it was moving these tables around. It's, how strong is it? How fast can it go? Uh, I don't know the exact specs on it, but it goes pretty fast. The motors, I believe, can go up to 12 feet per second, which is quite fast. Yeah. And, and Mr. Dinner said when we came in that the robot actually sheared the leg off one of the tables earlier. Yeah, yeah. It kind of went out of control there and knocked the leg off, yeah. There's a futuristic robot doing its own thing right there. Now, so when you think into the future, uh, have you thought anything more about building another robot? Is there something that you want to keep doing on your own? Or is it, I guess it's an expensive undertaking too. Um, yeah, it's, it's obviously very interesting, but also very expensive. Hopefully in university, if I t end up taking some sort of robot engineering mechatronics kind of course, that I could build more like this and, yeah. So mechatronics, I think when I was in high school, we had chess club or the math club. And that, yeah, the things have come a long way. This is a fantastic program here to have 35 kids that are interested in that uh, and all a, vari a wide variety of kids too and all different, uh, different strengths to be included. Now, are you guys gonna have a team uniform? Um, we're hoping for jumpsuits. But, yeah, we'll most likely have T-shirts and represent St. Joe's. So if anybody owns a clothing company out there, hint, Call hint. Us. Yeah, yeah. 
rambot4525 uh, gmail.com. <laughs> Rambot2545, 4525, rambot.com. Okay, yeah. thanks very much, everybody, for being here today. Best of luck in the competition, and I'll look for this driving down Talbot Street real soon.